Today's miracle of the feeding of the 5,000 is one of those interesting Gospels that actually happens in all four of the Gospel accounts. Kind of gives us a clue that this is an important message. When you think back in this time, people weren't able to read and write and it wasn't as common as it is now. So when they were writing down the Gospels and the, the disciples were there sharing their first-hand accounts or sharing the stories as best they could remember, it tells us that all four different evangelists or communities that wrote the, the Gospels thought that this was important enough to include. So what is the lesson that we can get from the feeding of the 5,000 in today's Gospel? The lesson is fairly simple but quite profound when we take a moment to think about it. God will multiply the gifts that we give Him. God will multiply the gifts that we give Him. God will multiply the gifts that we give Him. So in today's Gospel, we heard how this boy gives Jesus five loaves of bread and two fish to help feed this enormous crowd of 5,000 people. When the people begin to get hungry, the disciples become afraid of thinking how much this would cost to feed all these people. They were probably afraid because all these people were quite hungry, but they could have also been afraid at the grumblings of 5,000 empty bellies. But that didn't stop this boy from coming forward and presenting the five loaves of bread and two fish that he had. What's important is that he gave to the Lord everything that he had. He wasn't worried whether he had enough to feed all these people, but rather the focus was on his tremendous generosity. And look what happened. God multiplied the gifts that he brought forward. Nobody could imagine that five loaves of bread and two fish could ever, ever feed 5,000 people. They couldn't do it then, they still can't do it now, and I doubt they'll ever be able to feed 5,000 people with five loaves and two fish. But that is exactly what Jesus did. He multiplied the gifts that were presented to him. My friends, this is true today as well. And we don't have to look too far. God multiplies the gifts that you and I want to give Him to provide for the needs of the many people today. And this lesson has been proven and demonstrated in our midst by my life. I came here before the Lord, giving Him my time, talents, and abilities, hoping that in some way He could use the little that I had, simple person that I am, to provide spiritual guidance, leadership, and an example for you to grow in your faith, your relationship with Jesus. So that you could see and experience firsthand that it's possible to live the Christian life, to live the gospel values with joy, with peace in today's modern world. God definitely multiplied the little gifts that I presented Him and provided much spiritual food, much spiritual nourishment to you. You also learn how to live your lives faithfully through the gift of my life the little that I provided him. God used my lips to speak to you, to share his word each and every week. He used the simple person that I am to share God's love and joy with you in our community. And the same is true for all of you. God wants to multiply the gifts that you wish to give to him. I know that you all have gifts, talents, abilities, and much love to give, to share. If you offer them to God for His use, He will multiply your talents and your love. And this will bear much fruit and will feed many people in terms of your families, the people you work with, in our schools, and in our parish community. The Lord will take what we give Him and multiply it. When we think about this little boy who provided the five loaves and two fish, it could have been very, very easy for him to decide that, well, this isn't going to make a difference with 5,000 people, why bother? Instead of holding on to what he had, or doubting that he could even make a difference, he just generously gave what he did have to Jesus, for, to use for the good of the people. So too, you and I may even think, we may doubt, we may wonder, we don't have much to offer. We may doubt that the little we have can make the difference in anyone's life. But I promise you, I guarantee it, actually, that if you give yourself to God, if you give Him your time, your talents, your love that you wish to share, these gifts, these abilities He will take and He will multiply beyond your wildest dreams. In doing so, He will change the lives of all the people around you. 
Friends, let us pray that we may be generous in giving our time, our talents, our love to the Lord. Because God wants to multiply all these things, all of our gifts, so that he may provide for the thousands of people around us who are starving. Yes, starving to experience the mercy and love of God.